Hello everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at the chapter Biological Classification. This is the second chapter found in the Grade 11 syllabus for Biology in CBSE. Let's look at some of these questions and how to solve them in detail. Let's start off with our first question. Which one of the following is wrong for fungi? A. The eukaryotic. B. All fungi possess a purely cellulosic cell wall. C. They're heterotrophic. D. They're both unicellular and multicellular. So we have four options. Let's examine each. Well, let's look at statement A. Option A says they are eukaryotic. And this statement is true because Monera is the only kingdom which contains um, prokaryotic organisms. So therefore fungi, all of the organisms in the category fungi in the kingdom, I mean, yes, in the kingdom of fungi are eukaryotic. So option A is incorrect. What about option D? They are both unicellular and multicellular. We have unicellular algae such as yeast and we have multicellular algae such as um, bread molds. So we both so we have both unicellular fungi and multicellular fungi. So this statement is also true. That makes option D incorrect. What about option C? They are heterotrophic. This can be considered as true. Now fungi eat, I mean they consume dead and decaying matter. So therefore they take pro they take sustenance from other organisms which have which are dead or have started decaying. So option C their heterotrophic is also correct. The statement is true, so that means the option is false. That means the correct option is option B. All fungi possess a purely cellulosic cell wall. Now this particular portion is incorrect because the cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin. Now chitin is a polymer comprised of N-acetylglucosamine monomers. So that is not cellulose because cellulose contains um, beta rotated glucose so that means option B is the wrong option and here the question is asking for the wrong option the wrong statement so that means option B is correct next question methanogens belong to eubacteria archaebacteria dinoflagellates slime molds so what are methanogens? Methanogens are bacteria that produce the gas methane and these are normally found in the guts of ruminants. So ruminants are those animals which digest which chew their food after digesting it for some time in the stomach and that process is called rumination. So methanogens are those kinds of bacteria which are usually considered as less developed and so that means the correct category to which methanogens belong to is option B, archaebacteria. The archaebacteria contains the poorly developed bacteria such as halophiles, thermocellophiles, acidophiles and methanogens and the other kind of bacteria which is called true bacteria is is eubacteria so option a is incorrect because methanogens belong to archaebacteria and not eubacteria and an example for eubacteria is the um is the parasite salmonella typhi so that so that bacterium is a eubacteria which is pathogenic. Now what about option C and D? Option C is dinoflagellates, option D is slime molds. Both of these belong to the kingdom Protista. So here we're referring to methanogens which are a part which are a type of bacteria. B 
bacteria belongs to the kingdom Monera. So that means option C and D are incorrect. The correct option for this question is option B, Archibacteria. Now let's look at the final question of this episode. Here again, we have to select the wrong statement. Now all of these statements are about diatoms. Diatoms are a group of creatures which belong to the kingdom Protista. Now option A says the walls of diatoms are easily destructible. Option B says diatomaceous earth is formed by the cell walls of diatoms. Option C says diatoms are chief producers in the oceans. Option D says diatoms are microscopic and float passively in the water. So, what do we know about diatoms? Well, number one, they belong to the kingdom Protista. So, Protista contains mostly unicellular organisms, which are eukaryotic. So, that means option D, diatoms are microscopic and float passively in the water, is true. So, that makes this option incorrect. Another thing that we know about diatoms is that they are chief producers. They are present in the ocean and they, uh, and they are producers in the ocean. So therefore, option C is also true, which makes the option incorrect. Remember, we're looking for the wrong statement. Another interesting fact about diatoms is that they have cell walls made of silica. So that means we can find silica present in what, what, we, what we call diatomaceous earth. So that means the cell walls of diatoms, they drop to the bottom of the ocean once the diatom dies and then they, they form diatomaceous earth. So, diatomaceous earth is formed by the cell walls of diatoms is again a true statement, so that makes it incorrect. The only wrong statement in this set of statements is option A. The walls of diatoms are easily destructible. Actually, since the walls of diatoms are made of silica, they are actually hard to destroy. And that's why we still find diatomaceous earth made up of the cell walls of diatoms. So therefore, option A is a false statement, and that's why that statement is the correct answer. Because so, that concludes this episode. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.